Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Engineers at Johnson Space Center in Houston are using a mock-up of NASA's Orion spacecraft to evaluate how well astronauts are able to operate Orion's rotational hand controller and cursor control device while dressed in spacesuits. The controllers operate the displays and control system used to maneuver and interact with the spacecraft. The testing aims to provide data that can be used to make adjustments needed to ensure future Orion crews can interact appropriately with the spacecraft's control system during deep space missions. NASA recently completed a major milestone on its journey to Mars and the work to transform Florida's Kennedy Space Center into the spaceport of the future. A comprehensive critical design review and an independent assessment have determined the agency's ground systems development and operations program is on track, on schedule, and on budget with plans to modernize facilities and ground support systems at Kennedy needed to process the Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft for missions to Mars and other deep space destinations. Engineers are upgrading Kennedy's iconic vehicle assembly building, crawler transporters, launch pad 39B, and other launch infrastructure to support the requirements of Orion and SLS. On March 31st, a Russian cargo spacecraft stocked with about three tons of food, fuel, and supplies launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a mission to resupply the International Space Station. The progress is the second of three supply ships scheduled to deliver cargo to the station in as many weeks. Orbital ATK's Cygnus spacecraft arrived on March 26 with nearly 7,500 pounds of supplies and hardware, and SpaceX would launch its Dragon cargo craft to the ISS no earlier than April 8. Among the items that Dragon will deliver is the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, a technology demonstration to study the radiation protection, thermal performance, and general operations of expandable habitats in space. NASA has selected a team to build a new cutting-edge instrument that will detect planets outside our solar system, often referred to as exoplanets. The instrument, part of an observational research partnership with the National Science Foundation, will measure the tiny back-and-forth wobble of a star caused by the gravitational tug of a planet in orbit around it, an indication to researchers that a planet is orbiting a star. Measuring the size of the wobble can also reveal how massive the planet is. The new instrument, scheduled to be completed in 2019, will be installed on the 3.5-meter Wind Telescope at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. Observations from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope have led to the first temperature map of a rocky planet nearly two times as big as Earth. The map shows new evidence that instead of a moisture-drenched atmosphere, the super-Earth-sized planet named 55 Cancri E is a world blanketed with hot lava that sits very close to its star. 55 Cancri E is about 40 light years from Earth. NASA's Grain Propulsion and Fusion mission recently passed a major flight readiness milestone marking the successful completion of functional and environmental testing of its systems and software. The milestone is a major step for the mission, which is scheduled for launch in early 2017 to demonstrate the practical capabilities of using a greener, less toxic propellant than the hydrazine fuel used as a propellant by many spacecraft. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.